the cost will be $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> you take you just get you take you take you take the money. Take it. 1025. <laughs> Behind your back cuz you're going to jail for a long time, you. Hello. I'm Christina from the US. And I'm Nelly from Germany. Kids in America dream bigger. We are always being taught or through video and film and through social media. It's like the land of opportunity and you can make it this big. One viral video, you're like a star overnight. Oh, really? So I feel like kids in America these days, they dream a lot bigger because I wouldn't say easier, but it's a possibility oh. more than more so than Germany. So maybe there's more opportunities compared to yeah. other countries? Yeah, but that's what I think at, at least. Let's see. <laughs> this will be, be fun. <laughs> this will be really funny. <laughs> Thank you so much. And how much would you like back? The rest is for you. For me? For you. All of it? Yeah. This must be at least 20 puts. For less. <laughs> now I feel guilty. You are time, now I can't. I don't need charity. Take it. You take it. No, you take it. You take it. No, you take it. Yes. No, you take it. You just get it. You take it. You take it. Take the money. Take it. You need the money. Exactly. You need an underpaid job. Take the money. I don't want take the money. Fine. I'm just gonna leave it here, and then nobody has to take Fine. it. Fine. Thank you for dining at Clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I really do be like that. It's true with the tipping culture. They say tipping is an option mm -hmm. in the US, but if you don't tip, it's so rude. I'm sure because you didn't tip then and they're like... Yeah, but you know like their hourly pay is very low. $3 an hour. Oh, wow. So That's they rely nothing. only like most on tips. So if you don't tip, that means that they're just not getting money. So it's considered quite rude. In Germany, it's like because we all have like minimum wage, we can't make that less. Yeah, it's free to tip or not, but most people just do out of politeness. You tip like a euro or something just to be like, um, because I'm a nice person, I'll do this. Okay, so maybe you'll tip like a little extra? Yeah, yeah. But it can be up to, like I worked a waitress job, a restaurant when people really like me or got along with them, they even tip some, sometimes like 60 euros or something. Wow. <laughs> so a lot, a lot. Yeah. Uh, it just depends on mm. your niceness and how you get along with it. It is a thrill to be in an American hospital. It makes me feel oh, no. a little like I'm I know it's a hit show <laughs> ER, the emergency room. The cost will be $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> it is a joke, yeah? I'm afraid not. So. Yeah. 10,000? Yeah. Such much. Such much. Such much. Such much. <laughs> Uh, I see that along with your Hippocratic oath, you also took a Hippocratic <laughs> oath. Sir, I'm sorry, but there's nothing else that I can do. Could you at least give me something for the pain? Of course. Here's 200 oxycodone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Strong medicine in the States. Oh, I was like, hold on, is there another 5,000 there? <laughs> yeah, and also like when I got sick and then I took some medicine. Like, oh, this isn't that strong, like cough medicine. Because we're used to like, you know, Robitussin, really strong cough medicines. Pretty strong medication. They kind of hand it out easily, I think, in the States. Wow. Whereas other countries, a lot of the medication is illegal it's actually. It's so restricted in Germany. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously you can get uh, purchase for head pains or like mm. stomach pains, but it's not too strong. Like anything stronger, I don't know any like... Bike it in. Yeah. You'd have to go to a doctor actually and get it prescribed. It's illegal. Even the health insurance is about like 400, $400 a month, I think. Oh but even if you pay that, you still have to pay so much if you have something wrong with your body. That's just crazy to me. <laughs> so it's just too expensive, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to spend a lot of money if you're sick in the States, unfortunately. This is a very nice map. Oh, and five dollars. That's a very reasonable price. Excuse me, sir. I would like to purchase this mug. That'll be six eighteen, please. Yeah, but this is most peculiar because the sign clearly says five dollars. Oh yeah, sorry, it's with tax. Ah, but the sign will never says that. this is with. But why would you not include this in the original price? Oh, it, it says it right here. It's, it's true. It's true. It's like oh, only oh, tiny. Why must I be presented with this mathematical problem? <laughs> why do you hide behind these false cap prices? Is this what America has become? Fine, just. Just take it for five. In that case, I would also take one of those four dollar plates, but great. The four dollar plate with the five dollar <laughs> cup will be ten twenty-five. <laughs> it's really 
hard when you're planning going shopping. What if you mm. only have like a twenty dollar bill? You pick up some items and then you have to calculate everything. Every time I had to go shopping in in the U.S., it'd be so confusing to me. I'd always have to like and this tax and this yeah. and this percentage like. Yeah, and sometimes the tax changes. Oh. It goes up a little bit, or like it's kind of difficult sometimes. So you have to have a calculator if you really wanna. Oh nope. my god. <laughs> so you never know what you're gonna pay. In Germany, it's just included directly and. I'm fairly glad that I don't have to take a calculator every time or like even with tipping culture I don't have to like go off a percentage. I just mm. tip what I feel is right But things like um, grocery items things that you really need are not taxed. Yeah ah, Okay, see tricky. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So what is tax then? Tax just items besides I think grocery and Maybe certain needed items, but like if you're just buying things like I think a mug, then it's taxed. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Nice day and our refreshing beer. You can't do that here. A two, two, two stand here? Drink that. And that beverage? Alcohol. Tell what you know I'm drinking alcohol. Unless you read the label, you wouldn't know what is contained inside. Alcohol in public needs to be carried in a brown paper bag. So that you know what I'm drinking. So that we don't know what you're drinking. Uh, but only alcohol requires the brown bag, which would make it more obvious. <laughs> yeah. Listen, pal, I don't make the rules. My lord, I just enforce it. What's that, man? He's carrying a gun in public. Whoa, Second Amendment, bro. I'm sure he's got a license for that. Now put your hands behind your back because you're going to jail for a long time, you Wow. <laughs> it's quite illegal. You can't drink in public. And then if you have alcohol, it has to be like covered. You can't see it. You can't just be carrying around. Wouldn't that make it more obvious if you have that brown paper mm -hmm. bag? Everyone just knows. <laughs> I think because there is some past history mm -hmm. in the US, there are a lot of laws regarding alcohol. You also can't buy alcohol after a certain amount of time. After a certain time, you can't buy alcohol. 9 p.m. or something. What? Uh, it depends, I think, on the state, but you can't buy alcohol. Oh my god. My inner German is outraged. Yeah. <laughs> that would be never, that never no be way. possible in Germany. It's so common. We have this thing like beer garden where you just sit outside with friends in like a big community on benches and you just drink beer outside. That sounds so fun. Or what we do a lot as well is just buy a beer at the convenience store, like can't be or something mm. and you go to a river and sit there such a thing yeah. but if you're too drunk that's illegal <laughs> again yeah. so if you too drunk and you disturb people then you're yeah off to jail but you know what people do in the US is mm. that yeah like oh what if I he was saying a uh, coke can they uh. put alcohol drinks like cans like that and yeah. they sneak it and like oh no I'm just drinking coke see that's not a beer <laughs> They're just minor stuff. Mm, mm. It's not too different. So I think if I go to America, there are just a few things I had to adjust to, but it's, mm. it wouldn't be such a culture shock, you know? I think there are some differences. There are some things that are similar mm. with our culture. Maybe with some laws is different. Oh, definitely. And yeah. yeah, the tipping, the tax, maybe calculating money will be different. Yeah. <laughs> for me. <laughs> for you, it will be very easy for me. I can just walk in and be like, that's the price. So. Or even be surprised if there's no tax. You're like, oh. yeah. Yeah, just exactly. have to pay this. Yeah, yeah. Very informative. I learned a lot. You did? <laughs> about the tax. I knew about mm. the tax, but I wasn't too well aware of it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the specifics. It was really cool to learn about that. To talk about the brown paper bag again. <laughs> <laughs> Just so abstract to me, but yeah, yeah, it was it was kind of funny looking at the differences and kind of realize to me it's normal. But if I see in the video comparing the two, it's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> especially with that German accent. Yeah, yeah. So today we reacted to the culture differences between the U.S. and Germany. If you like the video, please comment and subscribe. Thumbs up, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.